This morning on today's update, we're going to talk about a courageous man facing a life-threatening disease. And Natalie is back with his story. Natalie? Hey, guys. As you know, we're all so lucky in this job occasionally to meet so many people who inspire us. And Augie Nieto is one of those people. For two years, we've been following his journey as he battles the effects of Lou Gehrig's disease. And as Augie's physical condition worsens, his resolve continues to grow stronger, giving hope to so many. He's a legend in the fitness industry, the founder of Life Fitness. Its cycles were among the first aerobic machines at gyms across America. Augie Nieto had it all, enjoying success in enterprise and in family. But in 2005, everything changed. I uh, was water skiing and the rope pulled out of my hand. At the prime of his life, just 46, Ironically, the fitness fiend was diagnosed with ALS. The paralyzing disease progressively stops the brain from signaling muscle movement. It's also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. There's still no known cause, cure, or treatment. Most people suffering from the disease die within five years. The doctor said, go get your affairs in order. <laughs> that was three and a half years ago. At first, Augie was devastated. He even tried to end his life. But he turned a corner and sprang into action, launching Augie's Quest, a foundation dedicated to curing and ultimately eradicating ALS. With his wife Lynn by his side, he tapped into his vast high-powered network to raise money for scientific research in conjunction with the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Oh, got it! When I first met Augie in 2006, his body was deteriorating. His resolve was stronger than ever. You can either celebrate what you can do or mourn what you can. Back then, he could still walk and talk. By 2007, the quick, cruel progression of ALS was evident. My mind is better than ever. Now, Augie's 50, his physical prowess long gone. Natalie, it is so nice to see you. His voice reduced to a computer program. His resolve, though, still strong. My mind is sharper than ever. Though it's increasingly challenging for the family. Lynn, when Augie lost his ability to speak to you and to the kids, how hard was that? It's really hard. The silence is deafening. But always a pioneer, he has found his new voice. Running his foot along a track ball like a computer mouse, Augie is able to communicate by typing messages. But he's also a step ahead of the disease, preparing for the day when he will no longer have control of his feet. The camera is calibrating the screen right now with his eyes. It's called IMAX. I can type 20 words a minute with my eyes. This new technology gives Augie the chance to continue living as best he can. A uh, camera can track where his eyes moving along the screen. IMAX, made by Dynavox, is one of several companies designing eye tracking systems, a unique tool with the potential to help millions with disabilities. Insurance companies, Medicare, Medicaid, they see this as medically necessary, and therefore they do cover it. Augie is able to continue his tireless quest to raise money for new research. Our goal is $18 million in 36 months. We are at 17.8 million right now. When you reach your goal, are you finally going to take a break, Augie? We now have a new goal, 30 million in five years. Augie knows that he may not live to see his new goal reached, but his wife Lynn is determined to carry on the dream. What is the message that you want people to take away from Augie's story? Don't be afraid of charging head on into something, try to make a difference in this world. Making a difference is what drives Augie day in, day out. Lou Gehrig said almost 70 years ago when he was diagnosed with ALS that he was the luckiest man on the face of this earth. I've never been happier in my life. When your family and friend think you are at the end of your life, they say things that are normally reserved for your eulogy. When you hear those remarks, it makes you feel proud of the impact you have had on your family, your friends, and the people you have worked with. 
And with the help of I Gaze Technology, Augie is writing his second book. It's called Reciprocity Incorporated. It's about how when you give without the expectation of receiving, you get so much more in return, a lesson that Augie certainly has learned firsthand as he has now given so much to so many. We're happy to report Augie just reached the goal of 18 million, working his way to the 20 million, but now 30 million is the new goal, as you heard. And I think so, he'll match that. I think he sure. will, absolutely, in his lifetime. A brave amazing man, man and an amazing brave man. Life. So yeah. lucky to have, to have met him. Mm. Very, very nice cool. Nice story. Yeah.